up, doll collectors, gift givers, and miniature enthusiasts? There is a strong possibility I may have been doing a little shopping on Amazon. Looking for chairs. Well, not this one. This one's a Barbie chair. But not everything was shipped with as much TLC as I would like. Not even joking. Two of my packages arrived like this. Really? They were in thin plastic bags and the boxes were completely crushed. So let's hope everything's all right. First up, we have the F Fit Style, I'm sorry, Fit Tile Miniature Dollhouse Sofa Armchair. Please forgive me if I am pronouncing that wrong. There were a variety of colors. This was $21.99 for a single chair. It comes already assembled. The fabric is kind of fuzzy, almost like a faux micro suede. It has a wire frame with sewn cushions. The cushions come in two pieces. You have one large one that is tacked to the chair and then an individual cushion. This goes right here. This chair is actually pretty large. There is definitely a lot of room for Mini Toya to sit back and relax. This is a Barbie on a classic Barbie body. Integrity toy dolls are a little taller, but this is still a nice oversized chair. I like that they had a lot of color options. I went with the pink, even though I normally don't go with pink. The wire frame feels pretty solid. However, the cushions are a little soft and it looks like they can get bent a little bit. Shipping did take a while, but this could be a really nice piece in a dollhouse, especially if space is not an issue and you're going for a kind of contemporary look. It looks like a pretty comfy spot for curling up and playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Oh yeah, my camp is looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Our next chair is Love In DIY Dollhouse Sofa Chair. It was $27.99 and it also comes in a couple of different colors. Some assembly is required. We have to put the legs in the bottom of the chair. No glue or hardware needed. But once assembled, it's a pretty solid little chair. The sides of the back cushions and the arm are sewn. Then the seat is glued in place. You cannot remove that. We have wooden legs. And this chair is a great size for our dolls. You know what? I probably should have got two. I ordered this all the way back in October of 2020. The listing reads, I Laz 1-6 scale dollhouse furniture miniature chair with backrest bar chair. It was $12.99 and there were three different colors to choose from. White chair with black cushion, white chair with red cushion, black chair with red cushion. Let's open it up, see what's inside. Oh, pretty neat. It's not a super bright white, more like an eggshell white. But I think this is a pretty cool looking chair. It's plastic, stands around five and a half inches tall, and it's a pretty good size for the dollhouse. The cushion has a black woven fabric and it's soft, so the dolls will be nice and comfy. Here is a Barbie chair from one of the dream houses so we can compare the size and they look pretty consistent. We could totally put this in the same room in the same dollhouse. I had a feeling I was going to like this chair, so I bought two. For $16.99, this is the La Homia 1-6 scale miniature table and chair crafts model. I just checked the listing and it says that it's a five piece set, but mine is a three piece set and mine was $16.99 and it's now $19.99 so I think you're getting some more chairs with the new listing. Assembly is required. Oh and there are a lot of little pieces here but this could be really convenient for like customizing so if you want to paint this a different color it's already in separate little pieces so you can just paint them and then assemble. Ah oh, come on. It does take a little bit of elbow grease to get some of the pieces to fit, so be patient. All right, 
that actually wasn't that bad. It feels like a pretty basic Playline dollhouse chair. We have some rose details at the top. There are molded upholstered sections like the back and the seat and some details on the legs. Personally, I think the chair is a little on the short side, but it's really up to your personal preference. Hmm, I am trying to put together the other chair and I seem to be missing two legs. Well, I guess we could just use it as a desk, right? Keep in mind, this is my experience and your experience may be different. But here is Mini Toya so you can see the size of the doll in comparison to the table and the chair. Personally, I think it would be fun to go in and customize some of these pieces at this price point of $16.99 or $19.99. This could be a pretty fun project. As long as you get all the pieces. I picked up another one of those jewelry box sofas because I wanted a different color. On Amazon, it's called Glam Pink Passion Jewelry Couch. It was $39.99 and it shipped pretty fast. It's definitely not pink. It's more of a ash lavender, like gray adjacent. I like the fabric. It's nice and soft. Those little pillows are glued or sewn in place. The top does open to reveal a jewelry box underneath. So we have some storage there. The other one in my collection is a super hot pink and it has some beading on the back. Personally, I like the smoother look better and next to that pink couch, it totally looks gray. I'm totally digging that. So far, I think this is a pretty good find. I'm loving the storage underneath. I like the color. The little metal feet are a fun detail. And I think it's a great size for the dollhouse. It's not too large, it's a love seat, so it won't take up a ton of space. Pretty neat clean edges. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Up next, we have a 1-6 scale dollhouse miniature plastic chair. It comes in a variety of colors for $4.99. I picked up two yellow chairs. Looks like some light assembly is required. The base is metal with little rubber knobs on the end so it won't scratch anything and then the seat goes like right here and you're done however for one of the chairs the base doesn't really stay put you have to hold it from the bottom if you lift from the top it just comes right off but for $4.99 i think this is a pretty decent chair it's a great size for my dolls looks very realistic and did i mention it's just $4.99 you can totally tell that I am very impressed with this price. At $4.99, I could get multiple chairs in different colors to match all the different themes and looks we have in our doll rooms. Cute chair. Now, this isn't a chair, but some do refer to it as a throne. It's a shiny new ceramic toilet. Here is the Amazon listing. It's called Ceramic Toilet Plant Pot slash Bonsai Pot slash Flower Pot Succulent Planter. It comes in two sizes, 4.6 and 6. I went with the 4.6 and it cost $6.99. Delivery was very fast. Since this is actually a ceramic pot, the lid stays up in an up position and the seat is actually pretty wide. There's a hole inside if you want to use it as a planter. And I like that it's shiny and ceramic. It does sit a little low in comparison to the dolls. And I hope you don't think I'm going to sit on that toilet for this video. You better get someone else for this demonstration. Luciana was kind enough to volunteer. It does sit a little low, but I think it works. Hey, do you mind? Oops, sorry. Let's give Luciana a little privacy. After I put the toilet in my cart, I found this. One six scale dollhouse miniatures electric bathtub. It comes in two colors, pink and white for $12.99 or $11.99. Some light assembly is required. It's made of plastic. It does require batteries, which I currently don't have, but then you could push this button here and it would make sounds. Since it has all of those mechanics inside of it to make sounds, the tub itself is not very deep. 
Mini Toya can almost stretch out her legs, and if we bend them, we can kind of fit inside the tub. Add the paperclip holder sink from a earlier Amazon haul, and you've got yourself the makings of a doll bathroom. All of the items are a slightly different shade of white, but hey, we're trying to work with what we got. With all of our miniature chairs we found today, it looks like we have the start of an IKEA store. In miniature, one of my doll friends just gifted me this little miniature IKEA bag. Talk about perfect timing. It looks like Mini Toya is shopping at IKEA. Testing out all of the furniture. Too cute. Personally, I am going to say my favorite picks of the day are these $4.99 chairs and the jewelry box sofa. These are pretty cute too. They might look nice in my kitchen. Let us know in the comments down below which items caught your eye. And I want to say thank you for joining us for another Amazon haul. Even though Mini Toya is holding an IKEA bag, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!